Welcome back to Lenny Does IT, and today we're going to explain how to use the Palo Alto Expedition software. We're going to be doing this in Ubuntu 20.04.5 long-term support. And the reason we're going to be doing this is because I have a project at work in which we need to migrate our ASA firewall configs to Palo Alto. So this is the first step in many that I'm going to be tackling at my day job. Now, the first thing that's important to do is when you're downloading your Ubuntu ISO and you're going to install it on VMware Workstation Player 17 or whatever hypervisor of your choice, that you need to match the minimum memory and core for CPU specs and the storage, all this stuff that's listed here on Palo Alto's documentation for Expedition installation. Now, after you've met that, what you're going to do is in the software... In Ubuntu, you're going to wget the packages that you need that come with the shell scripts for downloading this uh, these scripts. So what we're going to do is we're going to change directory over to temp. Then we're going to sudo wget. Then we're going to type in the hyperlink, which is https colon slash slash conversion updates dot palo alto networks dot com slash x edition one underscore installer and that's with a capital I underscore latest dot tgz And if this goes correctly, it's going to download after giving my administrator password. And look at that. We have all 15K. I'm going to give it an LS. Take a look. Looks like it downloaded correctly. And then from here, I'm going to tar that file. So dash Z X V F. Then I'm going to do E X. Then I'm going to tab it out. Give it an ls again, and you can see there that databases.tgz in the initial setup scripts have been extracted. And from here, we're going to schmod 755 init setup scripts, make it executable, and then we're going to execute these scripts. So sudo dot slash i, and then tab that out, and then hopefully this should work. Ah, looks like expedition user does not exist. So in this case, you know, we are on the correct Ubuntu version, but we just uh, don't have an expedition user. So we're going to, it gives us the command where we need to type in. So we're going to give it a sudo add user dash dash G E C O S. So it looks like it's two single, followed by a single, a single, X edition. Actually, you know, it might be easier on this one. It's just two, take that command and run it. So let me go ahead and pause the recording really quick. I'm going to go ahead and type that in and make that expedition user really quick. And then uh, be right back. Okay, so I did the sudo add user for that GECOS without the GECOS option. And it looks like it worked. Now we're just going to let all this run. I'll let you watch it.
looking through the documentation a little more while I've been watching this uh, install, it does seem to specify that you do need that user account expedition, but it doesn't specify which password you need. All it says is that if you did not create the expedition account in your previous step, you will be prompted to create that account. And it's needed until uh, in the stop the script. So it doesn't really specify that you need a specific password for it. It just needs it to exist. There's also a warning in here about you may see a, a cosmetic error message during the installation. Should show up in red at some point, um, but it says we can safely ignore it and that this whole process will take about 20 minutes to, to install everything.
All right, and at this point, this is where in the guide it does say to give it a pseudo reboot. So pseudo reboot. And then this shouldn't take very long, but when it comes back up, we will try to hit the web interface on this guy. All right, we are here at the prompt, so let's go ahead and give it a login. We'll log as an administrator. And we're going to give it an IP. A. See what our IP address is here. Looks like we are at 192.168.139.130. Let's open up a browser here. Is it 139.130? Good and seeing if I can ping it really quick. All right, I can ping 192.168. 139.130, maybe I need to give it an HTTPS. So let's go ahead and try hitting it on port 443. All right, this is what we should be seeing. I'm going to go to advanced, proceed, unsafe. And look at that. We are at our expedition console, type in admin, and then Palo. Alto. And here we are at the dashboard. This has been Lenny Does IT, and I want to thank you for watching this extra long video today.